You're watching TCM's 31 Days of Oscar Festival for 2024. I'm Alicia Malone and tonight we've been watching and listening to a selection of movies that have won the Best Original Score Academy Award. And our next movie beat out 17 nominees in its category to take home Oscar gold. With a score by Max Steiner from 1942, it's Now Voyager. That's right, there were 18 nominees in this category, which at the time was called Scoring of a Dramatic or Comedy Picture, with a separate category for Scoring of a Musical Picture. This was one of Max Steiner's 24 Oscar nominations, amassed during his impressive and long career, during which he reportedly composed the music scores for over 250 films. Max Steiner also worked on around 20 movies starring Betty Davis. They were both contracted to Warner Brothers at the same time. And now Voyager would be a big hit for Betty Davis, also giving her an Oscar nomination as Best Actress. With a screenplay adapted from a book by Olive Higgins Prouty, Davis plays Charlotte Vale, a sheltered woman living with her controlling mother, played by Gladys Cooper. Charlotte is seen by a doctor, played by Claude Rains, who suggests she take a vacation, which she does, meeting a handsome married father, played by Paul Henry, along the way. Also with Benita Granville and directed by Irving Rapper, from 1942, this is Now Voyager. Max Steiner won the Academy Award for his music score for Now Voyager, and that was the film's sole win, though it was also nominated for two other Oscars, Best Actress for Betty Davis and Best Supporting Actress for Gladys Cooper. And Max Steiner was nominated for Oscars numerous times throughout his career, winning three times in total, with Now Voyager being his second win. Steiner's first Oscar win came for his score from The Informer from 1935, and his third Oscar was for his work on Since You Went Away from 1944. Max Steiner was a true pioneer in the world of movie music, beginning his career in the late 1920s and pushing the art form of film composing forward throughout the early sound era. His lush scores helped highlight the emotional content of the films he worked on, and his work included landmark movies like King Kong, Gone with the Wind, Casablanca, and more. Well, it's time for me to say goodnight, but don't you go anywhere. Our look at Oscar-winning music scores continues after this break with a romantic movie starring a young Diane Lane and an old Laurence Olivier and an Academy Award-winning score by Georges Delarue. Next on TCM, a little romance, then Lily, and later the sea around us. Go deep with TCM tonight.